first night namin sa Israel, napakasarap ng pagkain dito. Ayan, tingnan niyo ang mga dessert nila. Oh, parang nasa cruise ship. Wow, yan. Dessert lang yan. Dessert lang yan. Ang sarap. Ano sis? Ano sis? <laughs> At least hindi na tayo kumakain ng pasta. <laughs> Kasi sa Italy, puro kami pasta. Wala kaming choices. Pasta at saka tinapay na matigas. Look at the bread. Different kind of bread. Ito naman yung kanilang mga appetizer. Magsasawa ka na. Pakaraming klase sila. Tomato, radishes, salad. Ang salad ay extremely good. Mm -hmm. At ito yung kanilang mga Um, ingredients for salad. Ito naman, tinan mo, naubos nang dumating yung mga Pilipino, naubos. Ayan, ang sarap niyan. And the spaghetti, ay wala nang pumansin kasi nagsawa na kami sa pasta sa Italy. Ayan. Chicken, beef, at ang rice nila, ibang klase, may gata yung kanilang rice. Promise, ang sarap. And another set of appetizer. Ang daming, ano, ang daming klaseng pagkain dito. Iba't iba. Yung salad na yan, ang sarap niyan. And, ito yung dalawang soup nila. Hindi ako nag-try ng soup kasi full na talaga ako. So, maybe tomorrow, the next day. We're staying here in Israel, in this hotel, for two nights. At ito yung mga katropa ko. Nasabik talaga sila sa pagkain ka, tingnan mo. Tigda, dalawang plato sila, oh. <laughs> Nagpo-protesta, oh. Si ilan? Tatlo? Sa akin, fruits lang. Fruits ang panghuli. <laughs> Ayan, yun. Again, yung tropa namin. This is our first day here in Israel. At dito kami nakai-stay sa hotel na to. It's so beautiful. Uh, tahimik pa ngayon ang lobby dahil kumakain pa sila ngayon sa baba. Ako medyo tapos na. Hi, ito yung paakyat sa Basilica Church here in Jerusalem. Lady of the Philippines. I will be giving you, ladies and gentlemen, now take the picture of the Philippines. First of all, you see the angel of the Lord. Look up above before I see. You see the migrating birds? Migrating birds that are going to Africa. From cold Europe. From cold Italy. Yes. It has a sign of victory. The angel of the Lord appearing to Mary. And writings from the Gospels in Latin. And the symbols of the four <coughs> gospel writers, Matthew as a young boy, Marcus as a lion. On the left side, I'm starting the explanation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So Matthew is a boy, young boy. Marcus as the lion on the right side. Lucas <coughs> as an ox, and John as the eagle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look carefully on the two sides with the Jerusalem cross, with two hands. Yes. It's the unity between Saint Francis and Jesus. Oh. Okay. And the Jerusalem cross has a meaning. The center cross is dedicated to Christ and Jerusalem. The four corners, the smaller ones, the four corners of the world that Christianity has spread. Also, it has another meaning, the five pains of our Lord. What is the five pains of Christ? Crown of thorns, the two nails, the piercing, and the nail on the foot. Now, in some of the places, shops, they will say, oh, it's Jesus in the middle and the four gospel writers. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice way to do a selling. But it's not the exact meaning, iconographic meaning of the interpretation of the cross. And it was adopted by the Franciscans. It is known as the Franciscan Cross of Jerusalem. Now, to come closer, you could see the angel appearing to the shepherds. Below it, the nativity scene. The three wise men bringing their gifts. The presentation in the temple of Christ. The first bones are always in Jewish custom was presented in the temple. Uh, the killing of male babies up to the age of two. The five to Egypt. Herod, when he met the three wise men who came from the east. They wanted to know where the Messiah, the King of Kings, was going to be born. He was anxious also to find her. He says, please, I will check it and uh, tell you. He gets the advice from his Jewish advisors. They say it should be from the house of David, Bethlehem. Amen. Nandito kami ngayon Ay, ang, ang ko sa Gana at meron dito mga couples na magre-renew ng kanilang vow dito sa chapel na to as Jesus ay dumaan siya dito at meron dito mga uh, couples na nagpapakasal so this church is very historical nasa Bible ito kaya may mga couples na pumupunta dito at nagre-renew ng kanilang vow. It's a small chapel but very historical. Ayan ang couple. One couple. The section here from this section here was all uncovered excavated and they preserved the press but this is not a wine press it's part of an olive press you follow me it's part of an olive press rather than a wine press Thank you. 
Nandito kami sa place where us uh, yung ginawa ni Jesus na um, yung alak, yung tubig ginawa niyang alak. Kaya ito nagsibilihan kaming alak as a souvenir. In Kana. that Joseph is not mentioned in the gospel but he was invited to this wedding and Joseph had a lot of wine and like God would have been changed because he managed to defeat the crusaders he became very famous and from here they advanced and conquered the whole of the holy land only one small section from Acre to Haifa region and the kingdom of Jerusalem was transferred to there I look to the left, you could see the Sea of Galilee, the Lake of Tiberias, the Lake of Gennesaret, in Hebrew, Kineret. The name in Hebrew comes from the shape. It has a shape of a harp. And the Hebrew word for harp is Kinor, Kinor, Kineret. So this is the Sea of Tiberias. Remember where Jesus walked? <laughs> sea of Galilee in the other side. And this is the front of the Sea of Galilee. Remember the Sea of Galilee in the Bible? Ganda oh, ano? Nalangoy sila. Sino yan? Yan may mga lumalangoy doon. Ay, mga langoy oh. Sige nga siya at kwarto. And also, it protects it from insect bites. Yeah, of there. And the lead is to protect it from so, monkeys, you see the bags on the bananas, the bunch, there is also the monkeys we would grab and eat it. We have monkeys in the Holy Land. Noah's Ark, two by two the animals, correct? So in this region, there is a family of large monkeys that they come and love to eat the bananas. You believe me, right? <laughs> I'm trying to pull your leg. <laughs> I did say it once to an American group. Oh, really? <laughs> no, the bags are to... So it is the Franciscan tabra, the multiplication fish and bread.
or also known as the primacy of Christ, where Christ appeared to his disciples. We will be coming later on. I want first to do Capernaum and the possible Mount Beatitudes and then come back and finish at these two sites before going to the boat. Yeah. After Capernaum, we'll be going up there. Okay, and why church decided to build it up there? Look at the shape of the valley. You see the shape of the valley? And look at the shape of the valley down here. It has a U-shaped valley, like a theater. Yeah. So Jesus always took into consideration to give important messages by sections of the valleys which had U-shaped theater shape. And look how beautiful the Bougainvillea. And try to move smoothly. I will show you where the smileys are. Some did not, were not able to use the smileys. There is. So we are now here at the Capernaum, the town of Jesus. So this is the gate. We are going to enter there. Town of Jesus. Finally, nakatungtung tingnan ko sa kanyang. And once everybody will be here and finished with the photography, we'll be going in. It's beautiful. Ang ganda ng town ni Jesus. Sino ito? Ano pangalan? Sino ito? Jesus nung wala siyang ba? Nung nawala. Kasi dito siya na-adapt eh. Ah, bata. Hindi, si Jesus pa na kaya ba? Ano ba? Is everybody here now? Yes. Yeah. Made out of limestone, gave the clue to the archaeologists and researchers that the people were rich. They were rich in the late 4th century and 5th century. Why? The local stone is basaltic glass. And they go and buy an expensive stone, limestone, which is rare in the Galilee, to transport it here and to do all the carving added on the price. The new one. It is built on the house of Peter's mother in law. Peter is not from Capernaum. Peter is from Bethsaida. After he marries his wife, he moves to Capernaum. This synagogue. But this synagogue does not face directly to Jerusalem. Any synagogue in the world should face Jerusalem and they pray toward Jerusalem. This is the synagogue. And the other one is more modern writings to two brothers, blood brothers, Urfali brothers, Armenian Catholic brothers, who excavated and found this type of them in It was total ruin. And courtyards of uh, basilicas, main roads, the Cardo known as cardiology, the center of the city, they would have also carved it and played this game. Even up to today, the nomads in the Middle East, Bedouins, they draw the lines on the soil, sand. The Lord, whoever is his bread shall live forever. Alleluia.
So this would be like an emergency room of hospitals coming asking for assistance. And if you look carefully in the excavation, you have three different periods. The octagonal structure is fifth century. But in the interior, you see there are rooms. In the affair of the children, you tell your... Uh... <laughs> The disciples were fishing here along this northern shoreline. And a stranger appeared to them and said, Ask them, have you caught any fish? And they said no. And he tells them to cast a net on the other side. And they caught a lot of fish. And as they came to the shoreline, Jesus met them and he was preparing them breakfast. And here, Christ asked Peter, it was already after the resurrection, the third time that he appeared. And the uh, first time that he appeared in the Galilee to the disciples. And here he, he gets nervous the third time. Yes, no. Why three times? And Peter was the one who jumped up and come to the country has had a private mass here. And the rocks that you see over here extends to the interior. This is a part of a fishing harbor. As I mentioned to you, the northern shorelines were used for fishing because of the river bringing in fresh food and fish into the lake. Unfortunately, the gravel that you see, it has covered the Byzantine basis of heart-shaped stone. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and be the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. We're going This is the Mount of the Beauty It's indeed beautiful. This 
important message placing the laws of Christianity. He actually added to the laws of Moses. And he opened his mouth and told them. Mount of Beautitude. Ayan, nasa likuran ko, part pa rin yan, Lord Jesus preaching the beautitude. This is the panoramic view of the Mount Tiberias. And the Sea of Galilee where Jesus did a miracle.